close your eyes. Picture an engineer. By a raise of hands, who pictured a man dressed up in a fancy suit? A train conductor? A construction worker? A computer geek? How about a girl? Women engineers are at a low compared to the men in our society today. Women are equally as capable as designing and creating phenomenal things, just like the men. All it takes is a knowledgeable, hardworking, and creative girl to become an exquisite engineer. Only 14% of our society in the engineering field is occupied by women. This means for every 42 men, there are only seven women. Why should the men take up 86% of this engineering field? The numbers have been increasing for women since the olden days, but 14%, that's not acceptable. As I looked into our gifted and talented program right here in Park City, I found that nine out of 27 students are female. Students qualify for the gifted and talented program based off their COGAT score. COGAT is a cognitive abilities test that assesses students' abilities in reading and problem solving. Why are the boys scoring higher than the girls even at this young age? I have always despised English, but loved math. I also enjoy art, technology, and leadership. These classes and interests I possess have led me to think about future careers, and heading down the mathematical way was always on my mind. When I was in fourth grade, my teacher confronted me after completing a project in class. The project consisted of building a bridge out of straws, tape, and string. I loved the project and took charge right away, not knowing it had anything to do with engineering. Later, she told me that I should look into math and the engineering field when I got older. I thought to myself, no way, I can never be an engineer. I mean, take a look at Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. They're very successful men, and I'm a little girl with big dreams. I started to look for females on the job. I started to discover women. One example I came across is Lindy Kirtan. She is the CIO of NASA, which involves computer science to conducting projects in outer space. I kept looking, and I found many more just like her, such as Marissa Meyer, CEO of Yahoo, Lauren States, CTO of IBM, Tracy Chow, software engineer at Pinterest, Ruchi Songshvi, head of operations at Dropbox, and Debbie Sterling founder and creator of Goldie Blocks. Debbie struck me right from the start. I wanted to look into Goldie Blocks because I'd never heard of it before. What I found is Goldie Blocks is a new toy for little girls that gets them into engineering at a young age. Take yourself down to any old toy aisle. You see pink, dolls, teddy bears, and princesses for girls. And you see blue, demolishing sets, Legos, and building bricks for boys. Can't you see the difference? Right from the start, girls are taught to be princesses and how to dress up properly, while boys are taught to build, demolish, and design. The mission of Goldie Blocks is to get girls into engineering at a young age. Again, all it takes is a knowledgeable, hardworking, and creative girl to become an exquisite engineer. This is where you come in. We need to promote toys like these instead of dolls and teddy bears for girls. We need to encourage our classmates to work hard in school, no matter if they're a boy or a girl. We need to dream big. We need to change. We need to picture female engineers. Thank you.